Hey everybody, it's Joe, and I'm back with another one of these little mini micro battle reports as I prepare and try and figure out my list for worlds. So here's the, the list I brought, a Dooku Bane list. I decided I missed my boy Cad Bane, and I wanted him back in my life. And Chris, this is his list. I said, well, let's play Blizzard Force, because that's probably what I'm going to see a lot at worlds. And um, he, he, said, uh, he, he said he'd recently played 20 games with this list because everybody wants to get practice against it and i said okay of those 20 how many did you lose and uh he wouldn't look me in the eye after i asked him that question for the match we were playing advanced positions key positions and supply drop um, i think i started off very poorly by deploying my guys on the short end of the table instead of the long end um, I was trying to hide more, but I think it backfired. Round one, I played Standing Orders, and he played Overwhelming Barrage, which, of course, already dumped some damage on the Cad Bane right off the bat. Another thing I definitely need to keep in mind before Worlds is when you do Cohesion, don't stick your guys out too far, because that little battle droid right there made this squad get shot like three times in the first round before I could do anything. And then even after I pulled him off the board, that PK worker droid was still far enough where he's getting those shots that I couldn't hit back. Just want to point out, he was able to get these bikes on the roof, which in previous rules, their compulsory move would have damaged them because the jump down was height 2. But the new rules, they just get to scoot to the edge and not move and then pivot later. So it was way beneficial for him and felt bad. So by the end of round one, I had double moved everybody up except for those battle droids in the back. That blue commander battle droid is the only guy left from that squad that I pushed up too far. All of the bikes just did these little drive-bys. Vader managed to scatter those Magna Guards over there, pulling them closer. And then Vader, of course, being a brave little boy, went and hid back behind that building. Round two, he played Darkness Descends, and I played Double the Fall. Even though there was nobody within range two of Dooku to put their token away, it was still really the best option I had. At this point, I'm already three activations down. Cad Bane is trying to push up. All my guys are trying to push up, but they can't get far enough to do anything. Vader, meanwhile, can force pull those guys over there. I did shoot one bike off the roof, but it's still just dinking around up there. The other bikes are coming around for another pass. And the snow troopers are taking pot shots, and uh, I haven't really done anything except kill a bike. Start around three, I play Fear, Surprise, Intimidation. He plays Implacable. At least Cunning gets me the tiebreaker here, but is it worth anything? Uh eh. Dooku made it over to Vader to hit him, and we were trying to figure out if the little uh, steering vanes on the speeder bike counted as part of the silhouette. Um, turns out they don't because they are extending beyond the base, but we played it that way anyways, and uh, it did make a difference. So Dooku got a damage on Vader, then Vader attacked Dooku, and guess what? Look at, all, look at what Dooku rolled. Nothing. Six damage. Dead Dooku. One attack. Yeah, feel bad, Chris. Um, yeah, at this point, we're not even halfway into round three, and all hope is lost. There's really nothing I can do. I'm already down a bunch. Uh, having lost hope, Cad Bane rushed up, got shot a million times, and guess what? He uh, died too, <laughs> despite having a bunch of dodges. So here we are, I've got a full squad of B1s over there, two Magna Guards slapping Vader, and a single B1 over there by the middle objective, and there's obviously nothing left to do here. Um, I thought maybe I could do a little more damage on Vader for fun, but not even that happened. And uh, that's the game. Here's uh, Hades, where Cad Bane and Dooku now live, and uh, that's where my hopes of doing anything worthwhile at Worlds also will stay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I already have a new list in mind for Cad Bane and Dooku, but uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to do anything about Blizzard Force. Uh, we'll see. I think I made some mistakes, but I don't think 
I should have lost that bet, even if the dice didn't screw me over. But anyways, hope you liked uh, that tragic tale and stay tuned for the next one. I will eventually be getting some full length gameplay videos, but for now, just uh, enjoy these little tiny ones.